All right, here we are at 2024 Lehman. I'm gonna just come out here and do a quick pan of the uh, neighbors and the street, show you the driveway and come back to the house. Neighbors' houses uh, appear to be well cared for. It's a quiet street, um, just south of 21st, um, which takes you over to Emerson and over to the interstate. Uh, the driveway could need, uh, use a resealing, have some cracks sealed, but it's level and quite functional, actually. Uh, the vinyl siding, wide plank. Uh, the brick's been painted. Uh, it's a single car garage attached to the house. Um, and there's access to the backyard through this gate and through the back of the garage. Um, the siding looks to be in good shape. Downspouts should be uh, diverted away from the house just so that it prevents uh, settling of corners and cracking. Okay, uh, Lori just told me that the laundry is in the garage. Shot of the neighbors here. The AC unit is in the north side of the house, which is good because it prevents uh, the sun from hitting it and it runs a lot cooler at that point. They've uh, painted these iron supports and uh, they look good the porch is uh, concrete and one slab not a single crack and looks very level um, and nice they have a decent storm door here with no closers that those need to be replaced doorbell does not work um, we've got uh, vinyl flooring plank vinyl flooring plank here uh, newer door uh, with a glass uh, window light for some light. The outlets must control be controlled by a switch to um, light up the room. This is a giant picture window. Very uh, unusual. Usually those are on the front of the house, but um, sure is nice. You could plant lots of... Uh, sheet loving plants there maybe put up a privacy fence of some sort to kind of decorate that uh, window through to the kitchen kind of uh, gives it a more open feel it's not completely separated eat in kitchen dining area there's no formal dining area but um so looks like they've had a lot of different paints there it's very thick um thick paint nothing else um, that's a access panel to the uh, bathtub in the through the wall I'm thinking um, new stove new Frigidaire dishwasher um, the floor dips just a little bit here um, so, looks like they have an outlet to finish up um, the cabinets are basic, um, but nice. Maybe some adjustment needed on, on doors. Hardware would be helpful to open up some of the doors and drawers. Um, okay, so into the garage, they have uh, an opener here. At some point, there might have been a railing here that you can see the subfloor has been raised a couple of times. Um, there is a pull down of some sort, an access panel for the attic. Um, I'm going to shut that. If you have, when you have a home inspected, they'll open that hatch up and they will go through. That's called a scuttle. At some point, they may have moved the, um, the door, built this out, has an event coming in. Um, from the house, I would definitely want to make sure I wasn't blowing all of my heat and energy out of the house into a garage that's, I mean, it's pretty finished, but you need to insulate the door um, in order to make the best use of, of that heating and cooling. Backyard, accessed through the garage. Newer storm, no, storm door. It's, bad shape meter comes in through here runs all the way along the house to a masthead on the back um, this is probably a brand new deck dryer vent access uh, accessing the outside of the house 
There's a little metal shed here. Um, probably seen better days, but it is rain cover. The yard is a little muddy today. I'll try not to track it back into the house. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'd probably get rid of that shed. It looks like somebody might have lived in it at one point. Just being honest. Uh, the privacy fence has come down, fallen down over the over time. Um, that would need to be replaced if you didn't want to see the neighbors. It's a pretty good sized yard. Uh, there's an alley behind and a large gate that could be taken down to access. It's a big maple tree. Um, back of the house looks pretty decent. I, this foundation looks good. I don't see any cracks and everything looks level. And uh, back in here, yeah, some weirdness there with uh, the way water has gathered or something. I don't know. It's probably a combination of tree roots and water. Um, anyway, you uh, would want to have the crawl space inspected. Someone would get in under there to make sure that it's not full of water or you know <clears throat> mold and things like that um, inspectors get in all those places house needs uh, screens <clears throat> sorry I um I really try hard to show the good and the bad of homes as I go through them because you're not here to see them and so it's really important to me that you actually know what you're potentially buying there's a fan somewhere it could be what that is there blowing air uh, I don't know what those switches do anyway um, should be noted that there is both gas and electrical hookup for the dryer um, the washer is here, hot, cold, and drain. It's a little close to the box for my taste, but I'm bound to find. Maybe that light bulb's out. There's, there are lights in the ceiling, but I am unable to locate the switch for either of them, but it's nice that there are two. Okay. Moving along. I'm gonna stand back here, give you a view of the Eden kitchen area. All right, with a view of the porch. Lots of hostas out there, those are pretty. Okay, return vent and filter. So to change the filter, these screws come out and the filter is changed um, behind this grate. Um, the floor is a little, a little uneven there, but I'm not so sure you're going to be able to see that in the video because it is pretty subtle. Thermostat is missing. Um, linen closet in the hall. And here, bedroom one. Again, there's no lights. There uh, must be wired into the uh, outlets. Closet with a massive anti-theft locking mechanism there to keep people from breaking it. I don't know what that is. Uh, again, the view of the neighbors is still a lot of cleanup out here that needs to happen. And the AC is uh, its pretty close to trees. Um, coming through here to bedroom number two, the back of the house, it's a decent sized room. Um, Pretty standard closet with bifold doors. Um, an outlet in the closet, I guess. You could put a desk or charge, charging table or, you know, charging vacuum or something in that closet. Um, this room definitely slopes to the back corner a little bit. I'd be interested to see what's going on in the crawl space on this house because 
There's a definite slope to the back. And a double closet, sliding doors. It'd be really nice if these rooms had um, a fixture in the ceiling. On average, that costs anywhere from three to four fifty, depending on the type of fixture you choose, um, to add a light fixture to the top of the ceiling. That includes the electrical work and hanging um, a fixture or a fan or something of that sort. Um, tile looks decent. Um, not bad. It's a, they actually did a nice job. It's uh, caulked and sealed all around. Um, needs a little bit of uh, silicone there around that. So this tile doesn't look new because the tub doesn't line up to where that is and you can see where the old uh, faucet was. This uh, window appears to be decent. Someone's painted it a little bit. Um, you need a tension type shower rod it looks like a new toilet and a new vanity and uh okay you drilled a lot of holes there <clears throat> okay this is a hall closet pretty decent size opposite side of that bedroom one and here are the mechanicals so you have a um water heater that is gas um no age on it but it doesn't look brand new it's a richmond brand which is which is a solid brand um plumbing um some weird stuff just kind of laying here i don't know what that black substance is but there you go there we go. Uh, they've changed out a flu. Um, it's just kind of dirty in here. They've really not done much to this area, it looks like to me. Um, furnace. I can't see any service dates or um, manufacturing dates of any kind on there. But <clears throat> that area needs a nice cleaning. So, with that said, I'm going to... Turn off the, the lights and finish this video. We'll get it loaded up for you. And uh, here we go. And we will get it to YouTube. Thank you.